Welcome back to another episode of Jacksonville Buzz's Buzz on Veterans. I'm Steve Strum with the famous Colonel Chris Budahas. Can't do it without him. We happen to have a really great guy. His name's Enrique Melendez, and he is from Task Force Hydro One. Yes. Did I get that right? Yes, you did. 20 year Army. 22 Ranger, years. 22 year. Yeah. Lieutenant Colonel. Army Ranger, mm -hmm. man after my heart. I grew up in a green family, and of course, we have the 35 year full bird colonel sitting over here. <laughs> On the heels of your fundraiser, I think, welcome back to the show. Tell us a little bit about what was your experience? What is Task Force Hydro One, and what are all these wonderful well, people need to understand? Well, let's about talk about what, what is Task Force Hydro One first. That's a great and then place I'll to tell start. you how, 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 how I think that's, a great, that's a great place to go. Yeah. So, yeah. what the heck is a Task Force Hydro One? Yeah, so. Thank you again for uh, having us here. Uh, appreciate the, the comeback. Like I said, I yeah. think it's because you wanted to retrain us, so that's Absolutely. okay. That's all good. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so Task Force Hydro One, what are we? We are a community. Um, what we have done is we are a nonprofit organization that stood up in 2021. We had three founders that had a great vision for this, Ricky, Leo, and Josh Rubin. And what we have done is we have developed a community where for our military first responders, our veterans and their families, they can come, they can rally with us and they can deal with you know, mental health uh, challenges, with suicide. So we use the water as a healing mechanism and also as part for the community to come together. So they know that as they depart the military or, or they retire from being a first responder, that sure. they're not alone. Yeah. Well, you know, and there's things, right? I mean, we joke all the time, but, you know, there's a lot of things that that military person and first responders, right? Because a lot of them go from, you know, green to a red or blue job and then they get out again mm -hmm. that they're facing for the first time. And I, you know, I tease Chris all the time about like, hey, did you have to pick out your socks today. Yeah. But literally, that's a thing that you don't have to do that now you have to do. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, all the things beyond, you know, wardrobe, the presentation, how do you transmit your skills from the battlefield to the boardroom? And then, Oftentimes, when people come back, you know, my little brother being deployed six times, right, you can find yourself in a hole. Yeah, absolutely. And so, what does this do to help with that? Well, it's funny. I, you know, I'm getting ready to retire again, but I, I got out in 2000 from the Marines, and I worked for you know a small company, General Electric. The minor. It might have been a little tiny company there. A couple but of it was, machines. you know, you can quickly you go from a community in the service to you now you're on your own. Correct. So how do you find community? Is that through your church? Is that through your neighborhood? Well, in this case, for veterans, you know, you have an opportunity with Task Force Hydro One or any other nonprofit in the area. You know, the key that tells veterans, find something, find somebody, you know, find that right community that, that fits for you because it can be a lonely path where you leave a community where, you know, people are looking at it, you know, on your behalf all the time to now you're on your own. And if you allow yourself to sit back and, and repress, then... You, you can quickly find yourself in a, in a dark area. So. And, and for the people that are watching this that may not understand that, as a lieutenant colonel and as any colonel, both of the two of you gentlemen were in charge of literally thousands of people's lives and mm -hmm. their safety and making sure that they don't just figure out how to get there, but how to get back. And once they come back, they come back different, and now they get out and they're looking to you going, what am I going to do? Like, how am I going to fit yeah. in? Yeah. You know, like, I feel like in square peg, round hole, and all the other things that go along with that. Yeah. So you're helping those men and women coming out of those service areas to and transition their families. And, and their families. families. That's yeah. very important. I, yeah. I, I grew up, I'm old enough, when we, uh, my, my father was in a, a reserve role during uh, Desert Storm Part 1, and there was a big challenge where military benefits uh, did not overlay yep. to the private sector back then. Now there's USERA because of some legislation that got passed. But it is for the families that, you know, have somebody deployed. One, does, you know, husband or wife come back? Yeah. Two, you know, what is the life of a serviceman's family? You know, you got to pick up and go with them. Yeah. So yeah. we also talked about a fundraiser that you attended recently that you had great success. Yes. Tell us a little bit yeah. about the fundraiser. So from my perspective, it was gigantic. I mean, the fact that we filled out the drill hall, uh, thanks to the finance, the National Guard Finance Battalion uh, down there in St. Augustine uh, allowed us to use their venue, yeah. but filled it out. Great sponsorship and the, the level of community in there. I mean, some of, there was a lot of laughs, uh, a little bit of crying uh, there, but you can feel the, uh, you know, after spending five years in Hawaii myself, a little bit of Ohana or a lot of bit of Ohana, where it was a family atmosphere and people really caring about each other. And to see volunteers with no military connection coming out and wanting to help this community. And again, I'll, I'll foot stomp, you know, it's not just military veterans, but it's also those first responders and their families. Yeah, so, I, it, was, yeah. it was very good in my, from my opinion. Yeah, so it's a, it was a great event. I mean, you know, we actually raised 
Sixty-nine thousand dollars in one night. In in one e well, in two days because sure. you know in one event. In, in one event, which is consistent of two things. One of them is the uh, fifty-mile paddle that we did yep. for uh, mental health awareness. We had thirty-six paddlers, three teams. Uh, you know, we had great support from Marine Max Jacksonville. They they uh, they volunteered in kind a boat for safety. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it was just an incredible event. We have you know our, our corporate sponsors, which is Liquid Therapy mm -hmm. and uh, Nordic uh, Nordic Blue Premium Water. I mean, they helped out immensely. And then we have a a, a platoon of incredible volunteers. You know, they even come you know, the Task Force Hydro One lady volunteers, which is incredible. And and they all helped out. So everybody had a major piece. In this event coming together, and and and, and I want to thank everybody who participated, everybody who donated. I mean, it, it was an incredible event, and like you said, there was yeah. some big ohana, you know. And we want to continue that. So, which kind of leads into, you know, I want to leave with something. Yeah, what's the and, future? And, and the future is looking great. That's great. I mean, we um, we actually have uh, our fall fundraiser that's coming up, okay. and it's going to be our first annual Hydro Games. Hydro Yes, so yeah. I don't want to give too much away okay. yet because we are still in the process of, you know, like working out the details yeah. on how this is going to happen. But it's going to be a, a great event day, the entire day, where we're going to have water sport uh, events as well as some strength and conditioning, yeah. uh, you know, go rock type of events. Yeah. So we, we're, we're very, you That's know, exciting. very excited, looking forward yeah. to it, which is also go rock, thanks to go rock, because they're yeah. one of the, you know, they do a lot of in-kind donation to us. So we, we truly appreciate oh, wow. that. So so for this summer right now, there's a lot going on. If, you know, people out in the, you know, in, in our community are looking to participate with Task Force Hydro One or just want to learn more, how they find you? Oh, they can go to, uh, we have several social media platforms. Okay. We have, uh, our website. Yep. We have uh, say, task, just Google Task Force, task Force Hydro, Hydro One, and yeah. you'll see it. Task Force Hydro One dot org. Yep. Um, you know we have Facebook. We have uh, I call it the Twitter. I know it's not yeah. like that. It's but X. It's, yeah, but yeah, okay. the X. You know. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> so we have multiple platforms, and we're getting ready to start updating our LinkedIn. Okay. Um, profile so well what we'll do is we'll make sure to hang all those on our website which is the dailynewsnetwork.com so that people can click interact i guess as we take it away knowing that you know the event number two is uh, the hydro games budahas how's your buoyancy it's pretty yeah. good it's actually so oh, you know what i'm working to get rid of it right yeah. now yeah. <laughs> just, just work on your you know, push up sit-ups and, you know, and buddy carry okay then i'll be you good know. <laughs> it, it very, you know in all sincerity though um 35 years 22 years in the service, coming from an Army family, knowing I got an Army Army, part-time Marine. Uh, <laughs> really appreciate what you guys do for our great country. It allows us to do this kind of stuff. So, gents, right, thank, thank you, you so much for doing it, and thank you for coming. Guys, thanks for joining us on Jacksonville Buzz's Buzz on Veterans. I'm Steve Strum with the very buoyant Colonel Chris <laughs> Budahas. We'll find out. If you, we will find out. <laughs> if you like us, share us, and remember, live with gratitude. <laughs>